Hello everybody and welcome back to season 30 of the Pokemon Cup series. Today we're here at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the running of the Coca-Cola 600. Josh Crash starts on the pole today and Luke Walker will also be on the front row. Philip Goldberg and John Andrews will be in row 2. Eric Martinez and John Gilbert in row 3. Dylan Thoreau and Anthony Lopez in row 4. And Jessica Counterman and Leia Walker round out the top 10. Decided to go back to introducing the lineups um, again. Uh, instead of being rushed as it was in the previous three races. So I'm going to try the best I can to get back to the uh, schedule. Back into the schedule of the of posting races for you guys. So I'm going to try the best I can here. Anyway, here we go. 14 laps here um, at Charlotte. Here we go. No, 14 laps each in each stage in Charlotte, I should say. Man, I'm making mistakes already, but anyway... Let's just get right onto the green flag here in the Coca-Cola 600. Weird that Igor Barreto, by the way, is, um, my apologies, I'm just lowering a little bit of the volume, which happens to be the same camera controls, <laughs> but not missing much of the action anyway. Uh, like I said, Igor Barreto starts dead last. He won at Blue R uh, Michigan, I should say, aka Blue Ridge last race. He became the first multi-race winner this season. We'll see if another one will rise up, or will there be a new winner? Goldberg leading. They're going three wide for the lead. And now it's Eric Martinez um, trying to cut in. And Martinez, can he get the pass? He will. Oh, crashes, hit the wall, and now Martinez leads. A little bit of a scuffle with Josh Crash. He was able to keep his car running. Anthony Lopez tries to go down low for the lead. And Lopez gets the lead. For now. More contact. Oh, whoa. I saw John Gilbert go in the grass. I think he was trying to pull off a pass in the grass back there. Looked like John Gilbert was going to pass in the grass. That would have been so weird. New leader, James Richardson. And now Lay and Luke Walker battle for second. Oh, man, they're making contact. They're spinning. Martinez is around, and the caution is out. And Eric Martinez spins in a pileup. And we got a crash. The three machine has spun. And it caused a big wreck. Eric Martinez went around. I think it was Gage Victini that took him out. He hit the wall and then Gage Victini. It was the 47 that spun him. And Pichu with a hard hit. 33 spins. Oh, now everybody wrecks. There is where the carnage happened. Whoops. Must have pressed it by accident, but you get the point. The carnage happened right there. Another hit. Oh, another hit. Sliding, spinning, everybody going around. James Richardson is leading the race, and we got three cars, I think, out of it. Oh, no, more cars. Five cars, to be exact, are out of it now. Wow. Anyway, four. Five laps, six laps left here in stage one. Green flag in the air. Richardson, by the way, was the winner back at Martinsville. Now he's trying to win for the second time this season. He would join Igor Barreto as the only multi-race winner this season. He would sure be a lock in the chase. He would still try to get that Final Four again. 
Oh man, now they're getting tight. Luke Walker has the lead. <clears throat> and now Richardson in the wall. And Lopez trying to take it away. He will. I mean, Lopez, I'm sorry. Lopez trying to take it away. He does. Oh, no, no. Richard Sloan. Wow. The 11 spins. Oh, man. The 11 is out. And a couple more cars wreck. Oh, man. James Richardson is out. James Richardson spins. It was Leia Walker, I think, that took out the 11. <coughs> The 11 got taken out into the wall. He went and boom. Zoe Anderson was hit. Then the 14 that was hit as well. And then the 24. That's DJ Curtis, by the way, with Alexander Rowe. They were hit too. That brought out the caution. And the 78 is the leader. And he might win stage one. So let's just check to see. Richardson's out. Anderson's out. And uh, that's about it. Anthony Lopez is your stage one winner. So stage one ends here at Charlotte with Anthony Lopez coming out on top. I'll show you the results from stage one. And there you see uh, Anthony Lopez able to win stage one here today at Charlotte. And uh, let's look at the results of the rest of the field on the bottom of your screen. On You can pause the video to see where you, uh, where you stood um, as of stage one. But don't worry, the fun has just begun. And we're coming back with stage two here from the Coca-Cola 600 here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Alrighty guys, here we are in stage number two, the final 14 laps here in the Coca-Cola 600. Will Anthony Lopez hang on for the win? And already one car on pit road, Grayson Acevedo with problems to start off stage two. He was already in the middle of the pack, but well, his car has not will not get going here to start the stage. But the green flag will wave here at Charlotte. 14 laps to see who will win in the longest race in NASCAR. Or Pokemon Cup Series, I should say. But longest race in NASCAR, you get the point. You know this is NASCAR. It's always been NASCAR. Tony Green is now running second. And he's going to try the, to take the lead. And Tony Green... Your new leader for now. Betty Johnson is now down low for the second position. And Johnson would love to get her first win here at this race. Philip Goldberg trying to get back to victory lane as well. And they're going three wide for the lead. Oh boy, 42 and now they're spinning. Johnson spins and there's a crash. Huge wreck. Wow. This will change a lot. Betty Johnson went around. And everybody else got taken out. There's Green. There's Lopez. And there's the 19 contact with the 83. And then everybody wrecks. Wow. Betty Johnson's out of it, and a lot of these drivers are, are as well. <coughs> well, but at least we're not going to have that glitch again this season where cars just fly off the track at this particular um, version of Charlotte, but we're not going to have that. Could be down to just two cars for all I care. And there's going to be a lot retired. There's going to be like five drivers out of the race. Yeah, there's five drivers. I thought there was going to be a lot more, but five are out. And on top of the drivers already out of the race earlier. Green flag is back in the air. Goldberg leads. 
And we have eight laps to go. Three cautions so far. It's been a pretty wreck filled race. A, 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 it's been a challenge for these guys. Looks like it's going to come down to these two for the win. Battle for third place. It's going to go to Gabot. Gabot to third. Trying to join his friend Arjel Alonso in winners this season. And the Stort Haas teammates are working together. Curtis and Fitzwater. Don't know if Stort Haas has... I don't think Stort Haas has won this season, so... Hoping to break the winless drought here tonight. Six to go for Philip Goldberg. And now the rest of the field is catching up to the top two. Gabot looks low for second. Fitzwater trying to go for fourth place. Oh, Gabot's right there. He's going to try to make the pass. Five laps to go at Charlotte. And what, what Goldberg hopes for, hopes not to see, is a caution. Because it could change everything. We could have overtime here at Charlotte. And this would get really interesting. Gabot is up to second. And Fitzwater battles for third place with his teammate. Four to go. Gabot closing in on the Goldberg machine. Here comes 47 of Gabot. Gabot leads with coming to three laps to go here at Charlotte. And Fitzwater is also right there. Zach Fitzwater is right behind the 47. Here he comes. It's Fitzwater's turn to lead. 47 trying to hang on. And the 4 is going to lead the field with 2 laps to go. Fitzwater is now clear of Gabot. Lopez going to try for second place. Gabba trying to pull away. And we're coming to the white flag next time by. Curtis trying to pass by Lopez for second. Could this be a Stort Haas 1-2? Here we go. The white flag is in the air. Fitzwater pulls and look at this. The 41 is out coming out of nowhere. Wow, where did that car come from? John Gilbert. Final corner, and Zachary Fitzwater, the Australian driver, is going to win the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And would you look at that, three of the four Stuart Haas cars finished in the top five. And... As a bonus, Josh Crash won the pole for this race. So it was an eventful day for Stored Haas all the way around. Crash, by the way, finished 24th, but the other three Stored Haas cars finished 1st, 4th, and 5th. And, of course, Crash, the one that finished 24th, won the pole for this race earlier today. So it was an eventful day overall for Stort Haas Racing. A real nice day for everybody in general. But Zachary Fitzwater, the driver out of Australia, gets to take home the Coca-Cola 600 trophy with him in his home country. So Fitzwater wins it again for the, his fans down under. And here's the rest of the results. And, of course, his Pittsburgh Penguins won the Stanley Cup again. So, very happy to be Zach Fitzwater right now. 
So Fitzwater got to be very happy right now. <laughs> got to be a very happy driver right now. Of course, his Penguins won, and he won the Coca-Cola 600 here. So very happy time for him. And there's the other Storthaus cars, 4th, 5th, and the pole setter, Josh Crash, in 24th. But he won the pole for this race, so it completes the cycle for Stuart Haas. What a day for them. Anyway, our next race will be at the Tricky Triangle from Pocono Raceway. We've we, Last season's race, there was a mess, so to say. So we'll see if things will be better or will it be another wreck fest. You won't want to miss the next race from Pocono Raceway. We'll see you guys there as Zach Fitzwater wins the Coca-Cola 600. We'll see you at Pocono.